And so for, to give our closing remarks for the, for the evening and now for the day, I'd like to welcome Dr. Zahri Sohedi to the stage. He's the director of the Berkeley Program for Entrepreneurship and Development in the Middle East and our host for today. Thank you so much, Roya John, for your wonderful performance. Ladies and gentlemen, I know that you're all very tired and you want to go home, so I'm going to make my list concise, short, and to the point. Let me begin, first of all, by apologizing to Dr. Tayyabi for putting his brother's picture in the conference booklet instead of his own picture. <laughs> Dr. Tayyabi, our sincere apologies. <laughs> Second of all, I'm going to refrain from quoting Steve Jobs, the patron saint of all the entrepreneurs. But let me uh, quote Victor Hugo, ladies and gentlemen, who said that you can resist an invading army, but you cannot fight against an idea whose time has come. Now, it seems to me that the most hopeful and important message to emerge from today's conference is that entrepreneurship in general and high-tech entrepreneurship in particular are ideas whose time have come in Iran especially among the younger generation of Iranians. A transformation in culture and consciousness is underway, whereby making money the old-fashioned way, through contacts and connections and wheeling and dealing and speculation, seems to be, at least in part, giving way to respect for genuine entrepreneurship through creativity, innovation, and creation of value. The second hopeful message to emerge is that high-tech entrepreneurship and the knowledge economy can become one of Iran's comparative advantages, helping to transform our liabilities into assets. From a closed, state-dominated, oil-dependent, undiversified, low-value-added economy beset by the brain drain, chronic unemployment, flight of cap capital, and inflation, to an engine for growth hopefully inclusive growth with equity, job creation, middle class development, youth empowerment, expansion of the private sector, and circulation of the brain drain. Now, the third point I want to make, and I'll confine my points will be confined to three points. The third is that this has been a momentous and historic event, ladies and gentlemen. And the demonstration of the extent to which successful Iranian Americans are keen to promote high technology entrepreneurship inside their native land. It is also a tribute to the ability of Iranian Americans to coalesce and to cooperate to advance common goals and objectives. So what we don't want to do and what we seek to avoid is for this conference to become a one-shot affair. This would be a calamity that should be avoided at all costs. I encourage you, therefore, to remain connected and engaged and to join our network of Bridge 2014 so that we can continue to reflect upon 
and ponder the opportunities and challenges of high-tech entrepreneurship in Iran and to prepare ourselves for concrete bridge building when the sanctions are uh, lifted, hopefully, or when they begin to be reduced. I said I have only three points to make. I lied. I'm going to keep you here a bit longer. The fourth and the most important point is that I would like to express my sincere and profound gratitude to the very large number of people who have made this conference possible today. Actually, there are too many to name. So let me just mention that we've had 20 charter members who have contributed financially to uh, this conference. And we have had one gold sponsor. So you may ask, what do these terms mean? Charter members contributed $5,000 each to the conference. And the gold sponsor contributed $10,000 in support of our event today. Not only this singular event, but hopefully its continuation and institutionalization. So to break it down for you, since all of you are from Silicon Valley, and uh, uh, much more competent in, uh, in uh, understanding numbers, two-thirds of the costs of this event today were provided by our charter members and gold sponsors, and a third of the cost of the event was provided uh, from the sale of tickets. We have also had an inordinate number of people who volunteered their services for free uh, in organizing the conference and also in helping us to manage it today. We've had more, th more than 30 volunteers Unfortunately, all of them have left by now. We would have loved to ask for them to come on stage and to be recognized, but I'd like to ask you to recognize them in their absence because the proceedings are being taped and they can see it. So more than 30 volunteers, 20 organizers, and uh, uh, dozens of sponsors, ladies and gentlemen. So with that, I'd like to bring uh, today's conference to an end, and I'd like to extend my gratitude to all of you for attending and participating. Thank you, and good night. Thank you all, before you run back home, remember please, Grab your trash, please. Um, make sure you've got everyone's business cards and your networking, and please visit bridge2014.org to give your suggestions and feedback. Thank you again for being with us today.